Oh, okay, okay. Let's go back to that one, please. Um, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's one of the more difficult problems that we have. All right, and the reason being is we still have a trinomial. These are three monomials um, subtracted to one another. But the next thing we notice is, you know, if we want to write this as two binomials, when we talked about working with FOIL, we knew that our first two terms multiplied to give us m squared, but then these last two not terms are always numbers, right? And now we're throwing variables in there. So it's difficult because now we need to say, well, now there's a b squared in there as well. Well, think about it this way. All I want you to do is notice that m times m is m squared. So no matter what my numbers that are going to multiply to give me negative 56, there's also going to be a v there. Because v times v is also going to give me v squared. And let me prove my point. Let's look at negative 56. All right? If I want to look at negative 56, what two numbers multiply to give me negative 56? Now, the first, hold on. The first thing you want to do before you look at 8 and 7 is remember that since it's a negative number, one of my factors has to be negative. Right? So I'm not going to write just negative 56 times 1, but now it's v squared. So I'm going to write negative 56v times 1v, or v. Does negative 56v times v equal negative 56v squared? Yes, it does. Then you also make sure, since it's negative, you also have to provide the other factors being negative. Do these two, no matter how they multiply, are going to give you a negative 56? And the answer is yes. So notice how the only difference is, instead of using numbers, x, where's my x come from? Sorry. Um, instead of the x, I'm also now going to have to include my variables. Now, what Huso was looking at was, he looked at my middle term and he said that middle term is only negative 1, right? It's all that middle term is. There's a negative 1 in front of that mv. So I need to find two <laughs> numbers that multiply to give me negative 56. Well, if I did negative 56, remember you have to add these to find your middle term? Negative 56 plus v, negative 56v plus positive v is just going to give me a negative 55v. Um, that's going to give. Pardon interruption. Yes. I need Jacob Ferber to the front office for early release. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, now the next thing we understand. Huh? That's okay. Um, so now what we'll notice though is that's not that's not mv right. How do they get the MV? Well, remember that MV is going to come by multiplying those outside terms. So I'll work on that in a different kind of video to help you show you. But for right now, just kind of streamline this approach. Let's just figure out what our two factors are. And we work on them. Since this is negative, that means my larger term has to be the negative term. So since my middle term is negative, I'm going to want this to be a negative, the larger term, larger factor. What am I doing? 7V. Sorry. Negative 8v times 7v is a negative 56, right? Right. So what I can say is that's negative 8, and that's a positive 7. All right? Now, if I actually wanted to do my FOIL, what you would notice, m times m is m squared. Okay? Negative 8 times positive 7 is going to be a negative 56v squared. m times 7v is going to be a um, positive 7mv. And negative 8 dm time negative 8 d times m is going to be a negative 8. I'm going to write them as the same way. Okay? These are the same terms, so I can combine them. m squared minus mv minus 56. Excuse me. 56v squared. Now I'm just kind of ah, I got you. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, the difficult thing about this problem is, like I said, when you have this v squared, just attach the v's with your last two terms because those two are going to have to multiply not only to give you your number, but also to give you your v squared. All right, so it's just a little alteration of the problems we've been working on. I know that's a little bit of confusion.